Hey guys, this is my custom All Might figure. So let's just dive right into this big boy. <laughs> Basically, you guys normally after like you know custom figures since I just got finished doing my custom Deku and stuff like that. Basically, we're gonna be going over what you need for this custom, how I made it, and why I made it. The pretty simple offer it why I made it was to comfort or I guess mm, go alongside my Deku and also be the second figure in my long list and line of making custom anime figures or image comic figures because later i will be trying to make a custom hellboy maybe um can't remember his name i think it was uh Abe Abe Sapien. Or whatever the fish guy from hellboy <laughs> because i'm i'm gonna be making some image comics characters from invincible with the sh figure wars body coon blank body because i already got invincible i might add a little bit more detail to his face that's more or less the design I'm going for for these figures. Have like a more simplistic type of face design, but that's besides the point. Either it doesn't either here or there. But I am going to go deep into what you need for this figure, and it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's kind of like what I did for the Deku. First off, for it, let's go into detail for the paints. Majority with my custom figures like this that have much to no like skin showing, I don't use much paint for those figures, like. I will be using a lot more paint and sculpt for my later future Kirishima custom. Some more figures that have more of a skin showing design in the My Hero or anime world. For the base, obviously for custom figures from scratch, the majority of the time, we're gonna be using a base. And basically I used pipe cleaner. I haven't used pipe cleaner in a long time. And this is mainly for a different custom because I will be trying to make kind of a sculpted up felt stitched together like I guess ragdoll custom figures like red, blue, and green, and make like an animated stop motion series out of that. They basically mimic kind of the stick figure, the stick figure animations you guys seen on YouTube. If you know those, you've grown up with those, like those are valid, and I really want to make like a stop motion version of those. Cause I did try that in my very first couple of, well, um, episodes in which we call it my YouTube. So go all the way down to my oldest videos on YouTube and you'll see those early stop motions. I'm thinking about just redoing those customs and remaking them and doing a new stop motion series, a little bit more, you know, fleshed out and a lot more character depth to each character. So that's what I'm gonna try to do, but I am gonna be trying to dive head first back into stop motion and get better. If you have any pointers or tips, go down in the comments, but yeah. So pipe cleaner, wire or bendy wire you can find at walmart that's what i use originally i used the i think silly wire at a nearby art store near i think bay brook mall in houston but yeah you need tin foil i used a crap ton of tin foil for this custom and i mean a crap ton of tin foil first of all I used a lot of tin foil to build up the muscularity and the buck of this figure over over top and I'll be picking up pictures right here, some pictures up. I used a lot of tin foil. I made the base. Now, I wish I made the entire base purely out of um, wire, very thick wire. But then over time, if I moved it too much, the thick wire would have break and snap because you need more of a thinner wire that will last longer and won't have so much strain on it. So other than that, not much of anything is going to be really done with these figures besides me making them and doing some really funny skits with them but yeah so that's one you also need a lot of felt like the main like point to this custom like this is like literally what it is like this figure every custom i make from now on is gonna be like you know wire tin foil and felt and cardboard that's literally like the basis of the entire figure and like the basis of all these custom figures next i might do hawks bakugo or todoroki but yeah, so you need felt, tin foil, a lot of hot glue to put everything together, wire or pipe cleaner, but I, I would try to mix both of them because that's what I did for this All Might figure. And I had to put more wire and force it over the first layer of tin foil. So it would be a lot more sturdier and hold up the amount of heaviness it's gonna be having since it's pretty heavy. 
because it's like literally tin foil wire and a bunch of felt but it's not as heavy as i thought it would be with all the tin foil being slapped on it but yeah it's not that heavy honestly not as heavy as a full-on model legends though but it's pretty heavy for a figure you make out of scratch and felt and tin foil but yeah so this is all my custom the paint job isn't really there or there because majority of the detailing like the body and the back and everything like that isn't much paint besides the head sculpt i try to do like a shading effect on the head sculpt and i think it came out pretty nice the paint on i don't know how to do majority of head sculpts and majority of these head sculpts are going to be kind of cartoony mixed with a little bit of anime flair for these custom figures for deku i was going to do a smile but i just did a slight smirk at first i was going to do give all my just a, a smirk but i wanted to give him like a smile a cheeky smile like that but yeah and also at first i was going to shade out his eyes like completely like the original but i wanted to give him a little bit more of a cartoony like glowing eyes effect because he did have glowing blue eyes as certain frames in the anime so i wanted to do that but yeah majority of the paint is just touching up where the parts where the felt couldn't reach kind of like adding this little poke through to give it like the same design the boots have in the anime because at first i just did like a, a a straight cut like that superman with like a a go down but it was more complex than that so i just used basically a uh, blue paint to mimic that you know blue paint to mimic that so that was basically it that's what i did um use cardboard for the neck to give it that flesh look and clay and you know what type of clay i use i use corolla clay and i used black sharpie to do the shading on the hair and with the hair i did a yellow coat with a dry brush of gold since his hair is kind of a goldish yellowish so i did like a dry brush of gold i might try to tweak it up but so far it looks pretty good but this is my own custom so i did two, i did take some creative liberties with this figure the belt isn't the best as it could be honestly it's kind of sloppy kind of rushed to put it honestly but then came out pretty nicely the hands majority of my custom figures i don't make the custom hands themselves because i suck at making custom hands honestly i suck at making hands but yeah so because that my custom deku that is the original hands from the mcfarlane beta i think three deku mcfarlane figure and this is the hands from a uh diamond select thor diamond select thor so you can see you can still see the original sculpt under there but like from afar you can't really see much i needed need, i need like a mixture of big hands but not too big because all my doesn't have superhuman no moo hands not nearly as big as that but yeah so pretty good honestly overall with the paint job i also use this type of paint for the face and that's just one you know that type of paint for the face a matte finish uh fin fin matte and that's what i use for the skin tone this is off camera but uh i use this paint for the eyes if you wanted to know that and the cell shading was just a artistic take because i wanted to try to copy the eyes but yeah basically piss simple this custom was pretty good to make it did take a lot it didn't take a lot but it took a while to make because i did take that two day break and i didn't work on it that time but i wasn't able to finish it today and i think it came out pretty well depending on like how i used the felt the felt i originally was going to do like sewing but that would take way too much time i can sew but oh my god it takes so much time so i use hot glue as i said earlier and that's basically what you're gonna need i think i went over all of what you need for this custom and how i made it and how i touched up the paint also for these side busts i didn't use felt i used uh paint the paint over the blue uh gauntlets and to make that blue uh blue a uh, white line i should make the white line a little bit thinner but i think it worked out pretty well for it so let's go over articulation Let's dive right into it. I'm just gonna be jumping right into it. I'm not gonna do no cuts, or nothing. Let's dive right into it. So the custom figure from head to toe, articulation isn't the best, and I can see the the clay chipping off on the head. Sorry, I just got it on you, but yeah. So it goes up that far. You can kind of maybe squish it down, cut that, but yeah. It has the back of the nick, nick joint a lot better. I might put like a piece of cardboard there and do kind of like what other figures do, like when they put a piece of plastic in between the joint to cover the joint up when it opens. So that's probably what I'm gonna be doing for the head or the nick later. But it's like pretty much just a wire, so it can go side to side, up and down. 
the down goes pretty nicely. The base of the neck was supposed to move, but it was too much felt that I built up the neck muscles, uh, the neck muscles with in the back with. So it basically it's just stuck there. But yeah, so it's that. So that turns out pretty well. Jesus Christ, it, that piece of clay just pissed me off, man. Let me just, let me just. So the arms go, okay, not the best, but it goes up that far and extends up down that far. It goes inwards that much, it goes forward. I just pop something. Oh my God, I just pop something, but it's whatever. It goes up forward that back. Um, what else does it do? It goes like a, it goes inward that much. It doesn't go inward much at all, honestly. The arm joints go in that much and not really much swivel, no real articulation on the, off the, uh, on the f uh, fist or anything like that. But yeah, what else does it have? It also has, okay, <laughs> ab joint that goes down that much, sorry, these bigger figures, this is my first time I'm gonna do like a big model, custom from scratch, articulation is the best it could be, so it goes down that far, goes back, makes it the bottom joint, that far back, it goes back down, the joint, uh, the, uh, was it, <laughs> belt covers the majority of the inconsistent, uh, lining with the felt, so that's basically how you do it, I might fix that up, I might tweak that up, because it's kind of uneven like that, kind of cut at an angle, but yeah, so, I'm not much swivel here, the, unless you want to, like, change, like, mess up the sculpt work, or, like, the felt work, um, it goes up that far, not much, not much, not much. Uh, goes back that far, back that far. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Um, let's tuck that underneath the belt again, and yada yada yada. Um, a knee. No, 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 but no, but no, not that. Should give more cheeks, but <laughs> should give more cheeks, but whatever. Uh, goes back that far. Uh, and it also does a little bit of split, a little bit of split, a little bit of splits. Not too much, not too much. Yeah, for I would suggest doing a lot more, like a lot more of a wire buildup, so we can add a lot more strength in the joint, so we can hold its uh position. And yeah, a bit more sculpt and design over articulation doing this figure custom. So yeah, but I also want to just stick that back in so it's getting a little bit longer than the other arm. But yeah, um, yeah, I probably didn't do the best, but I could do better in the future. I might redo this figure maybe. I don't know. But yeah, so and also the uh, feet feet rocker back to back, down and up, and it's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Uh, takes a little bit of thing of uh messing around to make it stand up the best it could. It could. But overall, the figure is pretty decent, and I enjoyed how it came out overall. And it could be a little bit better, but that's what it is. And so also, Matt painted the boots. I might do. I might do like some silver weather, some silver weathering on the knee pads to give it more of a realistic look. But that's beside. That's neither here or there. But yeah, so I think it came out pretty nicely. Uh, you see, if you notice my from the last custom figure I did. The hair does look a little, little, little different. Hair does a little, a little different. I ain't gonna hold you. Looks a little different. A little bit shorter, but that is what it is. I did pretty good. So let's do size comparisons. Off rip. The Deku is literally being towered over by all oh my. Oh my gosh, bro. Um, next time I, when I make a uh, Endeavor and more bulkier, you know, all my size and my hero figures, I am going to do it a lot better since I know what I mess up on this all night. So let's start it off with something or someone shorter than Deku, aka Marvel Legends Wolverine. And holy crap, this dude is short compared to All Might. Oh my goodness, this man's getting towered over. Invincible being towered over. This is next to a Marvel Legends Spider Man Final Suit Swing Suit. And it's not the. It's being towered over a little bit, you know? He's around the same height. Actually, he's shorter than the Deku, so yeah, that is what it is. And I based off the physique. For this figure, off of the, uh, off of the Venom physique, a little bit more of a skinnier but yet bulkier physique. And I might buy for for the Nomu. Honestly, I might just buy a bootleg version of the Venom, and just repaint that and turn that into a Nomu. Paint it gray, call it a day, and move on. Or any other customs you want me to do, any other My Hero or animate customs you want me to do or start and is there any type of stop motion ideas you want me to start or do and yeah also before i go i do need a voice actor for a few characters i do need a voice actor for thor for my home sweet home thor stop motion that will be coming out later in the month later maybe like the second month of school because this summer I was supposed to be working on it, but I got so occupied with making different videos and trying to do different things with my YouTube videos. See you guys later. As always, guys, have a blessed day. Jesus, I mean, doses, damn.